So, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create drag and drop label quiz questions in Moodle using the drag and drop onto image question type plugin from the Open University. See the video's descriptions for links, etc. First off, I will show an example of a completed quiz question and then I will show you the steps involved in creating it. My question is one for my Year 7 Computer Science class and it aims to test the students' understanding of a model for computers which they are introduced to in the unit. Anyway, here's the completed question. As you can see we've got the image of the computer model here and we have four labels which we want the students to correctly place onto the diagram. They can just drag and drop them onto the placeholders and if they think they've got one wrong they can remove it and adjust until they're happy. They then click next and submit their answers. Upon submission they're shown what they completed and then they're given the correct answer. So, as I think you can see this is quite a nice interactive question type. How did we set this question up? So, first off we're going to need two images. One image will be the unlabeled diagram and the other image is your correctly labeled diagram. You can create these in whatever software you like. For mine I created the model in PowerPoint. So the easiest thing to do is to take a screen grab of the slide which we can then edit to create our labelled and unlabeled versions. I'm going to open this with the GIMP image editor and the first thing I'll do is resize the image so it's 600 pixels wide. That can then be exported as our labeled diagram Now the next thing we need to do is to remove the text from the labels here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the colour for these and then just simply paint out the text. So bear with me. Right, so they're gone. We will now export that as our unlabeled diagram. We can now exit the GIMP image editor. And you'll see here we have our two images that we need. So let's head over to Moodle. So, in the course where you want to create your question, navigate to your administration block, course administration, question bank. You then need to select the category for which this question is going to reside in. And then click create a new question. Select the drag and drop onto image question type and click add. So give the question a meaningful name for yourself and other teachers who may want to use this. I'm going to call this one 
what our computer's model drag and drop. So the question text, this is where you need to instruct the students for what they need to do. So for mine, we're going to say label the model below by dragging and dropping the text onto the correct section of the model. On default mark, you could leave this as one, or you could, as I'm going to, assign one mark for every label. Now the general feedback section, this is where we are going to show them what the correct correctly labelled diagram should look like. So let's put a piece of text in. The correct labelled model should have looked like this. And now we're going to insert the image. So we browse, upload a file, and browse for the labelled diagram. Click upload. and save that image. Now, scroll down to the background image section in the preview, and now we're going to upload our other file. So the unlabeled diagram. Now scroll down to the next section, the draggable items and expand this. As you can see here, you can choose either a draggable image or a draggable text. If you were going to use draggable images, you would have needed to prepare those earlier as well. For this one, we'll just do draggable text. This is where we write the different labels. You may well want to select the shuffle drag items each time question is attempted as well. So you go ahead and Create your labels. Now we scroll down to the drop zones and expand that. So for each drop zone, you need to select one of our draggable items. Once all of your draggable items are assigned to a drop zone, you scroll back up and you should see the four labels now appearing on our preview. Pretty much all that's left to do now is to drag those labels where you would like them to be placed by the students. Scroll back down have a look at the combined feedback and multiple tries and tags if you want. When you're happy, click Save Changes. We can now preview this question. when we're happy with the preview, close that. And this question is now ready to be assigned to a quiz within your course. I think it's a really nice question type and I can see many uses for this across many different subjects. And hopefully this little video will help you in setting up and making use of these in your lessons too. Thanks for listening.